Hi, I'm Tony. This is Tapatcha. She's a 31 foot, eight inch J Benford design sailing dory, um, constructed of, of exterior ply, sheathed in glass and epoxy. She will be junk schooner rigged when she's finished. As you can see, one of the beauties of this boat is that you can sit her quite low in the shed as you're constructing it, because if you look down below there, you'll see at the moment there's no keel. And uh, we put the keel on towards the end of the build. So, so we'll get the boat pretty much, pretty much finished as far as we can in the shed, and then she'll be hauled out and then things like the keel and rudder and whatever will be put on at the end, which means I say, because we put the keel on late, we can sit the boat quite low down uh, to work on, which is quite convenient. The keel will be, I hope, um, will be high density concrete, that's concrete and, and iron or steel punchings. Um, there are a few keel options that come with the designs, but we'll get to that later. Um, she's under construction and as you probably are aware. What we're trying to do here is to show you a weekly video of, of the process of the build and, and uh, you know what happens week in week out, what's involved in building or undertaking a project like this. So I'm trying to show you the truth of the boat build. Well a big box arrived, you can show the big box if you like. And inside it was this, which is uh, exciting, I guess. Um, it is a Kildwick cabin composting toilet. Um, not the cheapest composting toilet in the world, but I wanted to go with something that I thought was reasonable quality. So that's what she looks like. It's got this fluted finish on the outside in this kind of whatever color you call that, sort of oxford bluey color. Oak toilet seat, lowly ply there. That looks like birch ply on that section, but the, the toilet seat's oak. And when we open that up, if you get in there, Kerry, you can see there we've got this very nice glittery separator there. It separates the wee from the poo. Very nice. Because I think the basic idea of, of composting toilets is that you, you keep the, the solids dry as dry as possible um, which is supposed to stop them stinking as I understand so, um, so you separate the, the wee off and the poo off when we open it up you see the underneath of the separator there and in here is as it arrived you can have a look in there Kerry I like this sticker you can focus on that one made in Yorkshire <laughs> yeah that's what you got in there look let's have a look this is the the wee bottle, the urine bottle. Uh, I think it was 10 litres, if I remember rightly, with a, with a lift out handle. Um, it comes with some solids tank liners, which are composting bin bags, I do believe. I haven't read it, but that's what I expect them to be. Two metres of breather pipe for the vent. That was ordered separately. I, I, ordered that separately but it's, it's come with it obviously but an extra purchase alongside screw on lid for the for the urine tank I won't screw that on various fittings and fixtures for the vent we'll look at those in a minute um, one more there and the inevitable destructions uh, there and that then is the well, there's a, a lid for the poo tank, and that is the poo tank. I just put that down so it's hold that better. Nice grips on the side. It's supposed to be all lined out with um, sort of an antibiotic liner, so to keep things hygienic. Lid for that, as need be. So you can cut that off fairly safely. Good. Then if you get in there, carry on, have a, have a look. You'll see that it's a very simple thing. It's really, it's just a, a sealed container. It's been fiberglassed with something. Sealed container. 
There are no fittings inside the box, but I guess that's a good thing because if you want to want to wipe it out, then you know there will be the need to clean it, won't there? Let's face it. If you need to wipe it out and clean it, then you've got the you've got nothing in the way, no horrible little corners for, for muck to collect. So it can be cleaned effectively. I guess that's good. And this in the inside is sealed, so I assume this is wood, this fluted look. Uh, but the inside of the wood is completely sealed, so um, nothing should get into the wood. And clearly can't leak. If there should be any spillage in there, it can't leak into the bilges or the rest of the boat. It's, it's completely sealed. So that looks very nice. Let's pop this, this back in there. Take the lid off so because that part of the urine separator goes into the opening of the urine tank. Um, and then just have a quick look at what we've got here. This seems to be something that goes in that urine separator. I haven't read the instructions on that one, I don't know what it is yet. Interesting, I have to read up on that one. But what I do know about is that we've got, I say the, the two metres of vent pipe, so if you look around the side, if I turn it around, you see we've got holes there, one on the back, and one on the other side, those three holes, which are roughly speaking two inches or so, five centimetre holes, I guess, all puck. So from one of those, this vent pipe comes out and through the, somewhere through the hull as a vent. This Vetus fitting, which I have opened and looked at already, looks very good. This you put through, and in my case I'll put it through the, the cabin side, the, the raised deck sloping side of the cabin, fairly high up. Looks good. Looks like it's very difficult for any water to come down, back down the wrong way. I don't know if it prevents it totally off, it's just difficult, but it's a nice looking fitting. And that pipe obviously fits to that and comes down to there. So that's our vent system. That's very nice. Then in here we've got, I've not opened this yet, various fittings. One of which is a very small, I don't know if you can see that, is that focus on that? Yeah. Very a very fan. small electric fan, which fits in one of those holes. You've got the options where to put it. 12 volt electric fan. Uh, yeah, easy enough. So that blows air into the thing obviously and then the other end you have one of these comes in there fits that pipe in there and blows out through the vent so the whole thing is vented we've got a couple of other screens there for the holes screws are supplied all looks very good very professional very nice and that's what we've got yeah yeah that's what we've got Plus this, this thing that I'm not too sure what it is yet. It's called a grappler. I don't know what that does. I should have to read about that, obviously. But that's what we've got. So you've got the loo. Clearly stuff stays in there. The beauty of it is that you don't need any through hull below the waterline for, for draining it out. You also don't need a, a tank, a separate tank, or pump out stations and any of that. Um, you simply take out the bag and uh, chuck it in the bin apparently, or in a suitable disposal place. Urine tank obviously can be emptied in, into a public toilet or wherever. Um, so that's that. And with that venting system, if indeed it doesn't stink, and people tell me they don't, it will be a marvellous thing. Very simple. That's the self-contained unit, isn't it? Well, you haven't got, I say, you haven't got an extra holding tank or anything, so that is the size of the finished thing, plus that vent. Which is quite nice. Not cheap.
This week, um, been working on the aft deck a bit. It's bitterly cold, everything's frozen outside, um, but we've managed to do a few bits. You'll see that we've managed to trim up the, uh, or trimmed up the, the aft deck all the way around with the saw and then the planer. put a coat of epoxy over to seal it. and I've, I've routed out these grooves. Well, I guess that's about it for this week. Um, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up or subscribe. If you've donated or done anything to support this project in any way, I'd like to say a very, very big thank you to you. It means, you know, if, you're, if you've supported us on Patreon, if you've donated to the Tips Jar, if you've bought music from us on, on iTunes or Bandcamp, you know, or if you're just watching YouTube and let the ads run, those all bring in a little bit to the project. 
it all proceeds to the project. And if you've done any of those things, big thank you. See you next week. Riches in the sunset, stand up, see. Tell me where you're going so decisively. What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound. We can move together where adventures abound. Running free before the breeze. Are there many days such as Sunset and Charlie Waters bound, breaking through the tethers that kept you from aground. Just go and you find out what awaits you there. Don't let worries bind you, don't mean that you don't care. Oh, you silly thing. I didn't do that. What I did was, well, what I want I put it on the double button. Two presses is what I did. It has actually been behaving recently. <laughs>